What are the types of scientific models? Have you ever wondered how scientists make sense of the complex world around us? One of the key tools they use are scientific models. So, what are the types of scientific models? Let's break it down together. Scientific models are representations that help explain, predict, or understand different aspects of the natural world. They are not just simple copies of reality. They play important roles in scientific inquiry. There are several categories of scientific models based on what they representing and how they function. First, we have models of phenomena. These models focus on specific parts of the world, known as target systems. For instance, Bohr's atomic model illustrates the structure of an atom, while the Lorentz model explains atmospheric behavior. These models aim to capture the essential features of the phenomena to help us understand and predict their behavior. Next, we have models of theory. In the philosophy of science, a theory is often expressed as a set of statements. A model of a theory is a structure that satisfies or makes true all those statements. This type of model is more abstract and logical. It helps clarify the internal consistency and implications of scientific theories without directly depicting physical reality. Then, there are models of data. These models representing empirical data sets and are used to organize, summarize, or interpret observations. They assist scientists in identifying patterns or testing hypotheses by providing a structured way to handle complex data. Now, let's look at some common practical types of scientific models. Visual models include diagrams, pictures, and charts. They are often used for educational purposes or to give a clear understanding of a concept. Mathematical models use mathematical language and equations to describe relationships within a system. These models allow for precise predictions and can be tested against real-world data. Computer models are simulations created through computer programs. They can handle complex calculations and dynamic processes, simulating phenomena that are hard to observe directly, like climate change or the behavior of subatomic particles. From a philosophical standpoint, scientific models are not just mirrors of reality. They serve multiple functions, such as representational, heuristic, explanatory, or predictive. This variety means that models can be idealized, simplified, or partial. Their validity relies on their usefulness in advancing scientific understanding rather than on perfect accuracy. As scientific knowledge evolves, so do models. They reflected theory change and scientific revolutions, bridging theory and observation. This allows scientists to explore possibilities and test consequences in a controlled conceptual space. In summary, scientific models can be categorized by what they representing, phenomena, theories, or data, and by their form, visual, mathematical, or computational. Each type plays a distinct role in developing and communicating scientific knowledge, highlighting the relationship between scientific theories and the world they aim to describe.